Welcome back. Today I'm going to give a demo with a real life baby and a review of the Baby Bjorn mini carrier. So I have my baby model here. Hey, Lennon. She is between four to five months and she is also between 13 to 14 pounds. So I'm gonna place her in the crib next to me and she's probably gonna start fussing. So it'll show you real life time of how fast we can do this, but she might be content while I'm just talking. Well, my husband was the last one to wear this, so I might have to adjust it, but that's okay. So you're just gonna take your vest straps, is what I like to call them. And then at the very bottom, you have your two clips. This is what is going to clip the bottom of the seat. And then you have your two clips, which is for the head straps. And then I will adjust the tightness after I get this strapped in. This is also color coded. So you have like red, blue, and then on your carrier, you'll have red and blue. So you can't really screw it up. Um, and then there's also instructions on the actual carrier if you ever get confused and a reminder to use the extra leg straps for babies seven to ten pounds okay so we are just going to take our bottom click <coughs> click and click it's literally that simple so I'm going to tighten this now before I grab her and you just tighten it like that this is what it looks like on the back super simple and now I'm going to grab my baby. I know you. Okay. So you're going to put them right here. Obviously, if you have a newborn, you would be supporting their neck. However, mine is just fine. <laughs> you're going to take them. She is totally supported right now. I'm going to take this red clip and throw it into, you kind of go up and down until it clicks into this side over on this side. Again, I'm not letting go of her. I'm still supporting her bum. And you take the blue to the blue and down and click. And so now we're going to put in our neck. So you can either have it folded down or you can have it up so that her head is supported. So I'll show you the up. So you're just gonna take this side clip, click it there and this side clip on this side right there. And then again, you can tighten. My husband was the last to use this, so everything's a little bit bigger on me right now. And then you take these, tighten a bit more if you need to. And like I said, there's an extra spot here for your, if you have a newborn baby or a baby under 10 pounds, you're gonna take this strap and notch it here. And same on this side, there's another little strap right here and you stick it on this little button right here but because she is not in that size range I'm okay so this is how it is that was it that was seriously how simple it was you tighten it on your own you're not dealing with straps in the back she is fully supported she's looking around <laughs> you see yeah um super simple I have yet to face her out yet, obviously, because she's not 24 pounds yet. Um, will I use this for that long? I hope so, just because it's so simple and I can throw it into my diaper bag and have zero issues. Um, but that is a long ways away, so we'll see by then. I might want something with more padding for my shoulder at that weight. So we will see. Okay, and then to get them out. So you're gonna hold their bum like before. Go like this, take these off first. You're gonna take your little clips, you kinda have to like push it a bit. Pull up and out, still keep them supported. Up and out, and then down, and that's it. And then I'm gonna safely put her in the crib. Yeah. And then to get this out, you just pull these buttons, and that's it. And if you want to keep it together, you could have one clipped in at all times and just loosen the other one, but I just like to keep it separate. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I love, love, love baby wearing, um, particularly with the wrap style, just because in those first three to four months of life when your baby wants to mimic the womb, um, you know, during that fourth trimester, I find baby wearing is 
it helps mimic that a lot better than a structured carrier. But with that said, baby wraps are not for everybody. Um, even after watching a million tutorials, maybe you're just not getting the perfect tie. Um, maybe you're just having a hard time adjusting baby on your own and you need something a little bit more structured. And that's totally okay. I still prefer the boba wrap for the first few months of life just because of the different ways you can place their head which I will get into. However, for having a partner help out, you know, especially during the witching hour, the purple crying period, um, the last nap of the day kind of thing when they're fussy or you're just trying to get groceries done with multiple kids, then a structured carrier is your best bet. And sometimes structured carriers are a bit cumbersome to pack around with, um, you need to buy a separate newborn insert, and all these extra things, and even that can be a little bit daunting. So here comes the Baby Bjorn mini carrier, and Ergo does have their own version of this, however I've never tried it, so I won't um, give an opinion on that. However, I have used this with baby number three, I did not have this for my first two, and to sum it up, I wish I did. It is so soft, it's so simple, like look how simple this is. Like, it can't get any more simple. It does come with these straps that you stick over like a vest, um, so you're not putting anything over top of your head. You can quickly throw it on um, if you're already dressed, you don't have to rearrange yourself. So if, you know, your baby's having a meltdown in a store and you want to quickly get them out of their car seat and put this on, you can, which is super, super simple to do. The Baby Bjorn mini carrier is good from newborn. Um, it does say seven pounds and you have an adjuster at the bottom that you can adjust based on their weight and size. Um, but seven pounds, you don't need an insert. You just have to close in the bottom leg straps just to close up the opening so that you have that ergonomic um, leg positioning for them because it's very important in those first few months and even as they grow, you wanna make sure their hips are supported. And then this is good for, I believe, up to 25 pounds. Yeah, so it's a lot. Obviously, you can't use this as long as some of the other structured carriers, which um, have a higher weight limit, and you can, you know, have more positions. This one is only inward-facing, outward-facing at, I believe, 24 pounds, and that's it. So, you know, if you like to wear them on your back for hiking, then this is not your best bet for that. This is meant for more of the, the early days and just simple, straightforward baby wearing. So the downfall of this carrier versus say the Bopa wrap or another stretchy um, baby wearing wrap like the Solly wrap is I find the head positioning. So with a baby wrap, when they're snug to your body, you can adjust their head so that they're facing sideways and you can put their wrap snug on their head so they're close to your chest and it kind of holds them in better. It soothes them a bit faster because they're not, you know, flailing around. You can stuff a soother in if you need to. Um, but it keeps their head more supported. Whereas with this carrier and I think any carrier, I find you're having a harder time adjusting their head when they're crying and freaking out because there's nothing kind of holding their head to the side. The This has great neck support, great head support. The, it does push the baby face into your chest, so they're kind of smothered. Um, they can still breathe, but when they're upset, it can be a little bit, you know, worrisome. <laughs> um, and then when they do get their heads to the side, you have buckles that can kind of get into their face, which isn't as comfy as, say, um, a cotton stretchy wrap where there's nothing in their face, maybe some fabric from the other side of your wrap. Um, yes, they do sleep. Yes, their head is very supported and they do calm down. They can soothe. You can stuff a soother in the same way you can with a baby wrap. I just am not a huge fan of buckles in their face and I also don't want them like sandwiched against my chest, especially if they're in the warmer time of the year. It can get really hot and sweaty and they'll just freak out. However, this is still a really great option. I was wearing it around the house when my back was feeling a bit sore. Um, we, I believe we wore it out. We, we had a winter baby. We live in northern Canada where it's super cold. So honestly, I haven't been doing much baby wearing outside yet. Um, but I do enjoy having a structured carrier for outside walks just for my back. Um, baby wearing with a wrap is great uh, until they're in there for like three hours and you feel it. <laughs> This one does have great back support, but because of its simple design, you know, you don't have the sh padded shoulders as you would with a more structured 
carrier. This one is on the more simple side, however you will get a more comfortable fit than a baby wrap, especially with less fabric, it's not twisting around your back. So to sum it up, would I replace my wrap carrier with this product? I would not replace it, no. Um, however, I would use both, and that's exactly what I'm doing. If it's not in your budget and I had to pick between one or the other, I would still go with the wrap. However, if you have tried many times and it's not working out, then I do believe the Baby Bjorn Mini would be a great alternative. Um, or if you have, you know, family that is wanting to gift you something, highly recommend doing both options just because, you know, when you're in that purple crying phase, the witching hour, and nothing is soothing them, throw them in the carrier, bounce them around, do whatever you can to soothe them, whether it's a soother, um, or just shushing, it works, I promise you. Um, you know, when they're overstimulated, maybe you need to go to a dark bathroom with the fan on and just kind of fight through it you will you will come out from it and if they seem like they, they hate it at first that's okay just kind of walk around with them for a bit shush them try the soother if they take one it is just a really great option when you're at a busy time of day and they're fussy or nothing's you know working and you just can't hold them to sleep forever try a carrier try a baby wrap whatever you need um, especially during the fourth trimester so that is it i hope you enjoyed this review and demonstration and thanks so much for watching you say look at your hair <laughs> oh my goodness you say thanks for watching <laughs>